Hi, it is the long-awaited crew review of the Oscar II. Hi, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and you guys have been asking and asking, when are we going to get it? When are we going to do a review? Well, here it is. We finally got it. We did an unboxing, so check that video out if you missed it. And now we're going to have the crew review, and boom, we're getting them up fast. We did the unboxing last week, and this week we got the crew review. So let's just go over it. This, how have they changed it? The old one was plastic all around and it had a little different look. This is almost like a hybrid between the Musica and the Oscar. It has the functionality of the Musica in some ways. It has programmable buttons. It doesn't have the manual button like the Musica does so that you can't just do a manual shot. You have to pick one of the programmed ones. Uh, steam arm, which is the four-hole traditional uh, Nuovo Seminelli steam arm. It's got that. It's a little bit longer than the old one on the Oscar. The Oscar casing was totally different. It came out like this, and then the steam arm came out from down below. And the other thing that's different, I mean, it's real obvious. Stainless steel uh, side panels, front panel, both sides are stainless. Top is plastic, the back is plastic. Also, the steam uh, lever is up here, a little bit different than the old machine. Still a 58 millimeter full-size pressure or non-pressurized portafilter. Uh, comes with the double basket. Comes with a single basket. Comes with a lovely plastic tamper, which I have upgraded for this demo. And it comes with the manual and a scoop. I don't know. Most people probably tend to grind their coffee right down into the portafilter, so. Uh, I don't know what the scoop's all about, but you get a scoop in any case. Back here is the water tank, and it's 77 ounces of water. Comes right out of here like that. I think, and I, you know, I think on the old one, it was a smaller hole. You couldn't get your hand in there to clean it. This one, you can get your hand down in there to clean it. So that's a good, that's a good thing. So I have taken the liberty of um, taking the screws out of the lid so I can show you the inside. And I'll do that right now. Just pop this right off of here. All right. I didn't point out that this is the water light. This tells you when the water is low, and this tells you when the boiler is on. And I notice that the boiler cycles more frequently than some. That's actually a good thing. That tells me that the range of when it kicks in to where it kicks out is much closer together, keeping it at a more stable temperature. So, flashlight. This is the inside. There's the boiler down there. It's a copper boiler, copper tubing, as you can see. And that gray matter on the outside of the boiler is an insulation. So, pretty cool. That opens up the steam valve. Then there's another solenoid down in there that actually does the three-way that lets the pressure go down into the, off of the coffee puck, go down into the drip tray. Drip tray right here. It's actually a pretty good size one. No, right there, there are two indentations in the plastic casing and on the bottom here there are two little nubbins if you I noticed that if you let this get too full when you're taking it out you have to tilt it a little bit and if it's way way full it's going to go out the back so be careful on that one stainless steel grate I'd like to see the grate just a little bit nicer you know match the machine a little bit better but hey it's not bad for the money a little bit more than the old Oscar, but not a lot. But you're getting a stainless steel casing too, so you know, all those things add up. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. You caught that, right? Did it get me? No, it didn't. So I won't bother to worry about getting that on perfect because I'll probably soak myself like I just tried to when I was pushing the casing, it pushed the lever up. So, programmable buttons, as I mentioned, and the way that you program these is push the button down that you want to program, and it's about five seconds, and it'll start flashing. When it starts flashing, release your finger, push the button, start the flow, and this has pre-infusion, wait time, and brew time. You're programming the total brew. You can't change the pre-infusion and the wait time. When you get what you want, hit it again, and now it's programmed. So, wait for it to blink, push it, Get what you want in the cup, push it again, you're done. You've programmed those two. All right, so I say, let's make a drink. 
What are we going to make? We're going to make a cappuccino, like always. And what have I got here? I know you've been eyeballing this out of the corner of your eye. This is the new settee from Barazza, and while it's not on our webpage, it will be shortly. So stay tuned for that as well. It'll, it's, uh, we got this one in to kind of test it and play around with it. Stay tuned. That's going to be the next thing from Barazza coming up. It's got three programmable buttons on it. I got this one. I programmed it for exactly what I wanted. It is all about me, right? I don't want to hear any comments down below on that one. I know it's about me. Sometimes and sometimes it's not. Okay. Like I said, I upgraded the tamper right away. Uh, that's one thing that you might want to think about doing if you purchase this machine. It just makes a big difference to have a nice metal tamper instead of the plastic one. Because this is a heat exchanger machine, and I don't know if I mentioned that, but it is a heat exchanger, you can actually brew and steam at the same time, and that's what I'm going to do. And because I have it programmed, it makes it a lot easier to do that, actually. You're going to see just how strong... I, uh, let me show you that. Look at that. Nice, dry steam. Very nice. So this thing is very powerful. The steam on this. This is the... Uh, this is the actual steam tip that they use in the Barista Championships. They provide the machines for the championships, and this is the actual tip that they use. Woohoo, done. That was in about, what, 10 seconds or so? I have this program for 30 seconds. Look at that. That was fast. Did a nice job. Real nice. Now comes the moment of truth, right? Woo! I just don't want to overflow it. I'll add another little touch there. That is absolutely nothing. Maybe a tulip coming up in the early spring out of the ground before it opens up. And maybe not, too. Mmm, that's a nice drink. Nice and hot. Very flavorful. Really good. What are we using for coffee? The Ladro. Medium roast. Their, re their regular signature blend. So, that is uh, the Oscar, too. By Nuova Seminelli. Has the three-way solenoid valve, which made that puck just a little bit drier than it would if it didn't have it, which I already mentioned it goes down into the drip tray. Check it out on our webpage. Uh, leave some comments down below. Ask questions. Any kind of questions you have about it, let us know what, it, what they are.